All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Good. Check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely subscribe to me here on YouTube. So I've got this uh, very simple dashboard here uh, in Tableau, and I want to demonstrate the concept of proportional uh, brushing. I've got my NBA data set with 2017-2018 data. I've got all the positions on the uh, on the basketball court, shooting guard, point guard, power forward, center, and small forward. And these are points scored uh, by that uh, position for the season. So when I select shooting guard, you can see I get this uh, proportional up update down here uh, based upon points scored. So in the Atlantic Division for shooting guards, I can see that 23.07% of points scored uh, were done by shooting guards uh, in that division and 76.9% were done by other positions. And so what I can do is I can select different positions and I can get an update down at the bottom. And so what we're doing is I'm dynamically uh, adding items to sets. So I'm showing here, I select shooting guard. I've added shooting guard to a set. Now all I have to do is take that set, throw it on the color uh, marks card in this chart. I get that nice in-out uh, bifurcation uh, by color. So very simple to do. I wouldn't say very simple, but... You know, it's it's something you get right out of the box if you ever use Power BI, but you just have to put in a little bit of effort in a Tableau to get the same effect. So how do we go about doing that? Uh, let's recreate this. So I've got a I've got uh, three sheets here. Uh, on the first one, we're going to show points scored by position. I've got uh, position up there. Drag in the points. Great. Now I've got my conference and division here. Also going to drag in points. But here I need to create a set based upon position because position is going to affect uh, this chart. So we're going to create a set. And let's select all the values. It's based off the position. And I'm going to name this position set. Say OK. Great. I'm going to drag this up to color. All right. Now I've got a third chart that's just showing what's in or out of the set. So I'll just drag this up here. I want to get rid of this ABC. I'm going to hold down Control, bring this over here to the uh, to the label. I'm going to go in here to Format, and I believe on the pane, if I select white, yeah, that goes away. Perfect. All right. So now that I have that, if I go into Dashboard, and I've already added the three. Um, uh, charts here or sheets here to the dashboard. You can see I've got my points, I've got my division, right? Nothing happens when I select because I don't have uh, a set action created yet. So on the dashboard level, I'm going to go to actions. I'm going to add an action. We're going to add it, change set values. And I want this to work uh, for positions. Let's uh, get that out of here on select. I want to add all values to set. That's the only data set that I have and position set. So when I select something, uh, we're adding to the position set. And when I clear my selection, I'm going to add all values to the set. I'm going to say OK. And let's see if it works. And it does, right? So I've got shooting guard, right? We've got some changes down here at the bottom, right? And so how do I get this over here? you're asking. So if I go into division, that's a simple change, just just a change of the sort order. I'm going to go in here to manual sort. Let's move out first. Boom. Get that nice uh, now it's easier to see the proportions here um, when I select something when something is highlighted. So so that's great. So let me show you this uh, real quick. Let's say I go back in a dashboard uh, actions uh, go into my actions and I go in here to edit and let's say I change this to keep set values when I clear the selection right let's say okay right now when I saw I cleared the selection and nothing happened I can select point guard and the set will change but when I clear it stays point guard stays selected so that's the difference in uh, some of these options here if I go back in here uh, go into dashboard uh, actions edit. If I were to change this to remove all values from the set, right, everything should be gray when I clear a selection. So I'm going to select uh, shooting guard and when I clear everything turns gray because everything is out of the set. So that's uh, that's the difference in what those actions do uh, in the in the new set actions here, clearing the selection. So we want to add all values to set.
say OK. And when I clear, great. That brings us back to, uh, to normal. And one last thing here. Let's go into divisions. And what I want to do at this point, I want to show, um, let's see. Let's drag the sum of points up here. Right? I get that. I want to make this a table calc. A quick table calc. Let's do percent of total. And uh, once I do that, I want to edit the table calc. And let's do it by cell. All right, percent of total by cell. Let's try that. Okay. So, oh, nope. So, what I want to do, let's go back in here. Sorry, let's edit, edit the table calculation, percent of total. And I want it to compute uh, using cell. Yeah, that's right. And so, show calculation assistance, not specific dimension cell. That should be fine. And so when I go in here, I can see, oh, because nothing, I haven't selected uh, anything that's uh, in or out of the set. So that's, that's fine. Let me go back up here to my dashboard and select something, right? And so there we go. Now we get that, now we get that change. I can see that uh, right, I get my 23.07% here. So I don't necessarily want to show this. I want to bring this down. Let's, uh, let's drag this. Well, first let me up all and I'm gonna drag this to the detail boom now I get one viz and now I should get in my tooltip great percent of total points along cell I can go in the tooltip right and uh, you know change some of the I just want percent of uh, total points that should work say okay right percent of total points 23 29.39 I come back here and I take a look at Atlantic 23.07. Great. So that's working 76.93. So uh, this has been uh, Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Uh, th again, this proportional brushing, this is made possible with the new set actions in Tableau. So take this tip and get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.